Hi guys, I'm Julius. I hope you're doing good. Today we'll be creating a crumbled up paper animation effect inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So I'm here in my Premiere, where I just prepared a blank sequence. And I've also found a image of some crumpled paper here. And as you can see here, if we zoom out to 10%, you can see that this image is really big. And I think that is the best for this effect because we will be animating it. So I'm just going to fit the screen again. This effect is actually really, really simple. So drag, you, drag your photo into the sequence, fit it to whatever duration you want. Right, let's say I want to have it be 16 seconds long, like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the start of the clip, press on position here and enable keyframes. I'm going to go forward five frames. Just click on the motion and just drag it somewhere randomly. Go five frames. And do the same thing. Just do the natural here. Natural random order. And don't worry, we're not going to do it for the entire duration. We're just going to do it for a few seconds here. So let me speed it up for you. Right, I've animated two seconds now, as you can see here, on the keyframes. And currently it looks like this. <laughs> it does not look very nice. But what we can actually do here is just select our keyframes up here, right click, temporal interpolation, and then click on hold. And this means that it will stay in that position until the next keyframe. That is like a quick way around of like having to cut up the image into multiple parts to take a look how it looks now. So now we're getting the look that we want. So how do we extend this to be more than two seconds? Well, we can do that relatively easy. Go to where it ended, go forward five keyframes. Just copy all your keyframes by pressing Ctrl C, then press Ctrl V. And you can keep doing this just to repeat the pattern. And as you can see now, we have a 16 second long animation of the paper. Personally, I think this is a beautiful effect for like a vlog or a title screen or a music video or something like that. But what if we want to have it be another color than white? We can just apply the effect called tint here. Just apply that. And basically in this effect, we have two options or three, but we're going to use two. We can map the blacks and we can map the whites. Blacks are all these creases and the whites are the rest. So let's start by mapping the whites. I think I want to have it be like this orange color here, some light orange here. And I want to map the blacks to I guess something similar. So now it's obviously the same color, but maybe like some dark orange. Now we get this type of look. Of course, you can play around with the tint or something like that if you want to. But for now, I'm just going to stay with stick with this because this, this is the look I went for. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like on this video. It really motivates me a lot. I do this as a hobby and I don't expect anything in return except maybe a like. And maybe drop a comment down below letting me know which type of tutorial you'd like to see next. Also, if you really enjoy my content, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, take care. Bye bye.